Welcome to Scoop Canada, where we cut through the noise and bring them the facts that truly matter to Canadians. Today, we're diving into the latest revelation from Conservative MPD and Allison and Pierre Polyov, who exposed the Liberal NDP costly coalition for what it truly is a complete failure. If you're fed up with skyrocketing taxes, unaffordable housing, and a government that seems more interested in pensions than people, you're not alone. Let's get to the point Jugme Singh sold out. That's not just our take that's straight from Pierre Polyov, who rightfully called out Singh for signing on with Justin Trudeau to secure his taxpayer-funded pension. Singh is not in Ottawa. To fight for Canadians, he's there to collect a $2.2 million pension, while regular Canadians are left footing the bill. Instead of standing up for workers, Singh signed on to Trudeau's disastrous economic policies. Taxes have soared, food prices have surged, and let's not even get started on housing costs. Remember when Singh promised to bring down the cost of groceries? Two years later, we're all paying more at the grocery store while leaving with less in our carts. But does Singh care? Not when his priority is ensuring his own financial future. Under the liberal NDP coalition, led by Justin Trudeau and backed by Singh, housing costs have doubled. Canadians can barely afford to live in their own homes, and the carbon tax is about to hit a whopping 61 cents per litre. This is not what Singh or Trudeau promised. In fact, it's a betrayal of every Canadian family struggling to make ends meet. And where is Singh? He's right beside Trudeau, pushing these disastrous policies that are burning a hole in his wallet while filling his. Singh isn't fighting for affordable housing or to fix the chaos in our economy. He's stalling for time, hoping to delay the next election until February just so he can cash in on his pension. That's why he's standing by Trudeau, no matter how bad things get for the rest of us. It's not about governance for the NDP leader. It's about securing his personal windfall. Let's not sugarcoat it. This is a betrayal of Canadian voters. Singh had the chance to stand up to Trudeau's reckless policies, but instead he folded, abandoning any pretense of representing working-class Canadians. He sold out for his pension, and now Canadians are the ones paying the price. From higher taxes to double housing costs to out-of-control inflation, Singh's decision to prop up this failing government is hurting every Canadian household. Meanwhile, Justin Trudeau continues to lead Canada down a dangerous path with rising crime, economic instability, and mounting debt. Canadians deserve better, but what they've gotten is a government that's more focused on enriching themselves than solving the very real problems Canadians face every day. At the end of the day, it's clear Jugmeet Singh and Justin Trudeau are in it for themselves, not for Canadians. This so-called coalition is nothing more than a power grab designed to keep them both in office long enough to secure their perks and pensions, while Canadians are left to deal with the consequences. Higher taxes, unaffordable housing, crime, and chaos that's the legacy of the liberal NDP coalition. When he signed on to that costly coalition with Justin Trudeau, he made big promises to Canadians' promises of affordability and relief for working families. Yet, here we are, over two years later, and it's clear those promises were nothing more than empty words. Let's talk about what's really happened since he threw his support behind Trudeau. Canadians are struggling like never before. He claimed that teaming up with Trudeau would ease the burden on Canadian families, but the reality couldn't be further from the truth. Food prices have gone through the roof, with families now paying $700 more for groceries this year than they did last. That's not a small increase, it's a crushing blow to household budgets. Yet he's still sitting comfortably, apparently unconcerned with the mounting hardships faced by those he promised to help. And it's not just grocery bills that are hitting families hard. Millions of Canadians are now finding themselves in line outside food banks, a stark indicator of the deepening crisis. A quarter of children are going to school without enough to eat, despite the grandiose promises of food programs that have failed to materialize. Canadians are being forced to eat less, skip meals, and make do with less nutritious food just to make ends meet. His failure to deliver on these basic needs is nothing short of a betrayal. He's claimed to represent the working class, but his actions suggest otherwise. He sold out to keep Trudeau in power, becoming an enabler of his failing policies. The much-touted cabinet shuffle was nothing but a smokescreen away to distract from the continued failures of the NDP Liberal Coalition. Instead of a reset, we're seeing the same ministers who have overseen rising crime rates, skyrocketing costs, and a housing crisis that has left many Canadians struggling. In the spring, he supported Trudeau's decision to hike the carbon tax by a staggering 23%. This is part of Trudeau's broader plan to increase the carbon tax by a staggering 300% by 2030. His support for this tax hike is a direct attack on Canadian families, who are already grappling with high living costs. It's clear that his priority is not the well-being of Canadian workers, but rather maintaining his position within this costly coalition. And let's not forget the $560 billion in wasteful spending that was poured into the economy, fueling inflation and worsening the cost of living crisis. Canadians are feeling the pinch every day, 
and his role in this economic disaster cannot be ignored. The coalition he supported has made life more expensive for everyone, and yet he continues to back Trudeau's disastrous policies. No one voted for him to prop up Trudeau's government for another year. His mandate was never to extend his tenure or to drag out this coalition. He's been pushing for a delay in the election, all to ensure that he qualify for a $2.2 million taxpayer-funded pension. This is not leadership at self-serving opportunism at its worst. His strategy of delaying the election is a slap in the face to Canadians who are suffering under the weight of his failed policies. Instead of working to alleviate the hardships faced by Canadian families, he's focused on securing his own financial future. It's clear that his commitment to the Canadian people is secondary to his personal gain. Jugmeet Singh showed that his loyalty lies with preserving his own position rather than delivering on the promises he made to Canadians. His role in this coalition has led to higher taxes increased housing costs, and a deepening crisis for Canadian families. His failure to address these issues speaks volumes about his priorities. Canadians deserve better than this costly coalition and the broken promises that come with it. Stay tuned to Scoop Canada for more insights and updates.